there guys, gals, non-binary pals, GM Potter here, and today we'll be going over the Owl Crate for October. So if you get Owl Crate, you know that this one was late. Um, they were waiting on some items because of transport issues and supply chain issues, so they were waiting on some things that were late. I finally got this one, the October box, on Halloween night. So it is the first, so let's get into it, shall we? So we've got our box here, and this is the card, which is very pretty. I like the little bugs and the little flowers. Uh, this is a study in shadows, and this is all the spoilers for the box. So right on top here, we have the pin, the literary luggage. This is design 10 of 12. Which, ooh, that's pretty. Stay away from Gallant. And this is from Hey Atlas Creative, inspired by the book Gallant. So, very cool. I like the little mansion. I love these pens. I'm going to get a big embroidery hoop, like I have for my ones. I can't point to them. Like I have for the ones behind me, and put these on there once I get more of them. And then I have a ID card case, which is kind of cool. So it looks like this, and it's got zodiacs on it. It says Aqua, Terra, Ignis, and Air. So water, earth, fire, and air. Which is really cool. So you can put your ID in there and okay. And then we have something in a little bit of plastic. This is the, it says the Alexandrian Society Scientia Cadis Est. So it looks like this. And then it says Owl Crate on the back. I think it's a little bento box. There's something inside it. So I want to open it and see what's inside it. Oh, it is a little bento box. So inside, you have a knife, a fork, and a spoon, and then a little strap to put on there. And they say the Alexandrian Society on the spoon. The fork has a little sword, and then there's a little moon phases on the knife, which is super awesome. Um, I've been meaning to be better about bringing my lunch to work, so that'll definitely help me. That'll get a lot of use out of that, which is pretty darn cool. Um, let's see here. We've got a little envelope looking thing. It says... You can justify anything if you want to, want it pre poetically enough on the back. And this is... Oh, it's a glasses case! That is pretty cool! And then it folds flat when you're wearing the glasses. But when you're not wearing the glasses, you can fold the edges out like that and put the top in like that, and then your glasses don't get smashed, which is really awesome. I recently started dog sitting, and I wear glasses um, or contacts, usually glasses when I'm dog sitting, so uh, that way if they jump up and get me in the face, they're not gonna lick my contact lens out or something gross like that. Um, but that would be really helpful for keeping my glasses protected overnight, especially if um, this coming weekend I'm dog sitting and there's supposed to be thunderstorms and one of the dogs I'm watching does not like thunderstorms, so I'm a little nervous about that. I'm not sure how she'll react. Um, I've heard from her people that she does not react well, so we will have to see. And then we have a book, which is The Secret Gar Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. And it's just a copy of the book. Is this the whole book? Yeah. This was one of my favorite books when I was a kid. One of my favorite movies, too. It's still one of my favorite go-to movies when I'm not feeling well. And, yeah. Fantastic book. I'm happy to have it. And then we have... Ooh, that's a wooden bookmark. It says, Beauty is Terra, Ex Ciencia Ultio, From Knowledge Comes Vengeance, on the back. Which is kind of cool. I like that. I love a good bookmark. And then at the bottom here, we have our little magazine. 
and we have our book which is the whispering dark by kelly andrew which looks really interesting let me read you the the letter on the back it says dear reader the story began with the discovery of a little girl's notebook full of gen pen gel pen notations and butterfly doodles page after page was flooded with detailed memories of a boy who never existed and who no one remembered most people would assume he was someone she she dreamed into being to pass the lonely summer days but i like to think he'd been real just a little bit lost that maybe the two of them discovered one another quite by accident this book is a love letter to that journal and to that lonely little girl. It is, it's a story about loneliness, love, and loss, about saying goodbye, about a girl who dreamt up, and dreamt up entire word, worlds in the silence, and a boy who no one remembered. I hope you enjoy it. And it, the, it looks like it was written in white gel pen on, paper, on black paper, and it's got the little butterfly doodles that she talked about, which is really cute. So let's get into the magazine. So we've got the little bug bugs and flowers so we've got an interview with kelly andrew who's the author and we've got the two covers we have the rib cage which is the one that we got as our exclusive cover and then we have the regular cover which again i always like the owl crate covers better october book wrecks from team owl crate I love dark academia this time of year, but especially, but it's especially ideal for reading autumn for fall back to school vibes by Tess. Teresa says, there once lived a woman who tried to kill her neighbor's baby, scary fairy tales. These failed fairy tale-esque short stories are perfectly spooky season to read. Corinna says, I love rereading The Raven Cycle by Mag Maggie Steifvather. Steif Each fall, they're perfect level spooky. Crystal says, for me, Autumn is about long, rich, fantastical audiobooks like The Name of the Wind. And Bab says, my go-to Autumn picks are always moody and atmospheric, like Gallant by V.E. Schwab. So, and then it recommends uh, some books. A Lesson in Vengeance, which one of our items was uh, based on that. Ninth House and A Deadly Education. And then other, ex other releases we're excited about this month. The Night of the Raven, Dawn of the Dove and strike the zither gray warren the restless dark and dark room etiquette which is kind of cool so i always like book recommendations i read a lot um hence why i get a book club so have you read this book uh let me know in the comments down below do you get owl crate were you as frustrated as i was about how late it was but actually kind of happy when you got it like i am let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!